Hey y'all, this is going to be part three of the uh, hand build update and the last part. I uh, just literally got them finished and wanted to give you a uh, quick showing on them. Uh, if you follow the uh, first two updates that were uploaded, uh, you'll know what I've been kind of working on. Uh, but this is what I came up for a finished product and I just got done aging them. So the paint's still a little wet, it'll probably darken up and change a little bit once they dry and you'll get another look at the hands themselves once they've been installed on the tombstones. So, but anyway, this is what I came up with here for my hands. And as you can see, uh, the detail work here that's in green, I actually uh, used a hot glue and did the patterns, all the patterns on the hands, on all the hands in green. Now what I ended up doing on the, or not green, but uh, hot glue, sorry. Uh, what I ended up doing on this set of hands is I painted the base coat a purple with a uh, tree frog green for the uh, highlights on there and then you then I used a light gray and basically painted the hands light gray and then rubbed it off. Now, I wanted a uh, kind of an aged look on them. Now this one over here, and there's only one of them, was done with cream, kind of a flesh tone cream as a base. And as you can tell, red <laughs> for the details. And then I, I put black, I did the same treatment. I did black on it and then rubbed the black off. And that's the detail work on it. Now the last set I did was in uh, the green. Uh, I put uh, yellow fingernails on it. And then uh, red for the highlights. And then I went over and I coated the whole hand except for the fingernails in black and sorry about the camera there I hit the wrong button wasn't paying attention but anyway that's how the hands ended up turning out and like I said I just got done with the aging process on them so you know the paint's still a little wet and it'll probably look a little bit different once the paint dries all the way but I was, I was pretty happy with it all together but uh, anyway uh, as to the coating on the hands themselves, uh, I tried corpsing them to start with. Didn't like the look of it. Uh, I tried using uh, Halloweenville, Josh's uh, toilet paper idea, and I'm gonna have to work with that a bit because that didn't turn out at all the way I wanted. The uh, I, don't, I don't think I wrung enough water out of the toilet paper before I mixed the glue and joint compound into it because it didn't come out right. Uh, and I really didn't like the look of it, and it was just making the hands way too heavy for my for what I wanted to use them for. Uh, so the third way was I just did regular paper mache, and I only put one layer of paper mache over the hands. Uh, I was thinking about doing several layers, and for what I'm going to be using them for, and everything else, and with the uh, support, the wire, and the rolled newspaper and stuff underneath of it, and what have you. Uh, it didn't really need it. I mean, these things aren't going to be out where they're going to be taking a big battering anyway, so. But I ended up just using regular paper mache on it. But, uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, if you like the project, you have any questions or anything, uh, please leave a comment down below or send me an email on YouTube and I'll, uh, get back to you. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.